Hi, it's Maggie at Minnie the Minx UK on YouTube and The Captain. Um, today I want to show you basically how to make these pretty flowers. I'm hoping that you can see them on my board. Um, ones with buttons in the middle, um, ones with brads in the middle and they're very, basically various different sizes um, and different shapes of flowers attached together and this type. Now there's lots of different die cuts out there that you can use um, but I actually use my Cricut and it's the original Cricut. Um, I think it's brilliant. Um, I'm, not, I'm using the flowers that are on the George and Basic shapes. Shows you on the back there's two uh, different types of flowers there. One's like a daisy and the other one's basically a wider, a wider type daisy. Um, you maybe have a die cut that you can, um, or a punch that you can punch out. But if you have the Cricut, um, it's actually on page 120. And what you do is, very simple, pick out what paper you want. I have got double sided on this. And you place it on your cutting mat. Um, this was 12 by 12 paper that I chopped um, about in half and all you're doing is placing it in your machine. Sorry about the noise, it can be a wee bit noisy. And you decide what size you want your flowers. Um, if it's one and a half inch, two inch, whatever it goes. It goes from one up to five. Five and a half, sorry. Um, which would be a rather big flower if you wanted that, but it's up to yourself. I'm going to do one and a half. You need your settings at the side. To, um, it depends on the thickness of your paper, etc. I'm just going to quickly do some. Um, so I'm pressing on flower one. Now you can pick out whatever colour of paper you want. I quite like the, um, the backdrop black. Uh, sorry, I like the back part of the flower white and I ink the edges and then I like a pattern in the middle or sometimes I go for a pattern in the, as the main flower and then the smaller flower maybe at one inch in white. So it really is up to yourself. Um, I'm just doing, going to do a couple of the flowers just to let you see and then I'll show you them out. I'm doing these ones, two different types of flower here in one and a half inches and then I might do a little one inch just to let you see. So I'll change that to one and I'm just going to do a, the, a toy wee flower just to show it. This one's patterns, but you can, as I say, you can do it in white. So unload the paper here. I'm going to, that's me really finished with this machine. I just wanted to quickly show you it um, up on the thing. So I will actually show you what I'm talking about on here. Um, get rid of them. Now, there's all different sorts of things that you can do. So I'm just taking out the paper um, on this. Now that's the smallest of the flowers. I hope you can see that. And these are two different types. I, I understand the patterns on them, so it might be harder to see. But... That's like a daisy type flower, so it's flower one and that's flower two on it. So really all you're doing is, I'll just put them down to get them out the road, um, is when you're going to put your flowers together to make flowers sort of like that, that's two flowers and a button in the middle or like that. Um, really what you need to do is, um, if you take your, if you've got an embossing pen, Bit like that on the edge um, what you would do is say you had a flower like that size you actually I hope you can see that down there you're just rubbing over each of the petals and you'll see that your flower starts to curl up and some people go around the edges with it and then color shade in sort of the middle it's like you're shading it in actually and then round the middle bit and it'll get curvy like that. Now what you want to do is do that then with a patterned bit of paper and all you're doing is gluing them together like that and adding a brad. 
or a button it's really up to you a brad button gemstone diamante um, beads um for the center but um these center clip these brads um were out of the range in near Edinburgh. It's actually between Musselburgh and Bon a eh, Musselburgh and Portobello. I got them for fifty pence. Quite a lot in them as well. I've used quite a lot already. But um, all you're doing is put your brad in the middle and ink your edges and fold the brad back, and you'll get a pretty flower just like that. Now I'm just going to quickly show you something. I made my Mother's Day card for my mum obviously and I used these flowers um, on the front and I hope you can see that. I made a crisscross card and um, some people call it a crisscross. It's like an envelope shape um, card pocket page as well if you were doing a scrapbook or if you were doing making your own book, your album with envelopes, that can be a pocket book. And basically what I've done is put a picture of my mum and myself as a baby um, on the front. I've added some buttons, I've done my Mother's Day on there, and inside I've used the same pa um, flower paper on the front and the same on the back. And I've distressed all the edges in lipstick. And I'm hoping my mum, let's just pull out like that, I hope my mum likes it, but it was just a use for these flowers and I actually thought they were really pretty. Um, another one is, um, in one of my other videos I did an easel card and straightforward easel card, I used the Bloom um, Magnetic Dye, I think it's Nestabilities, um, Nestling Dyes, and I embossed the front and I've used one of these flowers. I've added a little bit of funky fibre. And I used the big shop when I did this card um, for the actual easel card and obviously I used my Cricut for this flower um, which I think is really nice and you could put your sentiment in the middle or you could write it underneath or at the back, it really is up to yourself. Um, and these were a couple I did before but that's the butterfly one. But as I'm using the flower, these are going to be my Easter cards actually, the ones with the butterflies. I'm going to do them in all sorts of colour. But actually they've these flower ones could be used for Easter as well. Happy birthday. And you could have a you could you could use a paper clip and have a stamped out um happy birthday or thank you or congratulations. Now the other thing is there's all different types of flowers. These are just plain flowers, these have been stamped, they've been done on the cricket, but as I say, if you've got a die cut die cut out the flower shape, do a circle in the middle and that's it flat. Um, I've inked the edges on it. This one I've added a bit of um, double sided foam pad to raise it up a bit to give it a sort of 3D, sort of, well it's not 3D but it's um, to make it ri rise up a bit so that if you had maybe three of them on a card or something it would look really pretty. Also on the Cricut you can do um, these ones like charms. So again, you're picking out the flower. I'm just picking out the wee white bits as I haven't done that at the back. Um, you can cut out your flower. There's the hole in the top for the charm. You can lace thread, um, funky fibre, ribbon, um, twine, and you could have that. Or put your brad through there and have that um, on the front of your card. You could have maybe three of them again, or always like... Um, Odd numbers one, three, five, seven um, works for me. I'm not really keen on two, whatever, but you might like that. These are the silhouette type flowers, and you could curl up those edges. Um, although I used um, an embossing tool, um, there's another you could actually use if you use. I'm just going to get one like that. If you were using a daisy type flower like that, you can actually curl the edges, anything round like a pen or a pencil, something like that. It's probably best if it was slightly thinner than that. And if you just flick them, I've actually saw someone do it off the edge of their table. But if you do that, you can get a nice curve on your flower. You can have it going back the way or you could do it forwards, um, front ways. So I'll just quickly, so all you're doing is a quick flick off with this, with something that's round. Remember, knit your edges um, or distress them. It can be really nice. Another flower is here. I don't. I'm hoping you can see that has little slots in the middle. 
and you can put ribbon through that twine again funky fibers or just leave it like that um, if these flowers were done in oops in pattern paper etc um, they'd look really brilliant um, the wee ones again small bit of paper and um, you've Punch, you could have a punched out flower, I've um, inked the edges, and all you're doing is the exact same thing. Foam pad, these foam pads came with um, some stamping sets that I got, um, and I think they're, they're good. Um, use, I'm using the bigger end of this embossing tool, and all I'm doing is doing like circular movements in the flower. And as you turn, I hope you can see that, I'll maybe move that down a little. Um, as it moves around, the flower actually starts to curl and it becomes like that. So again, if you were doing, um, if you used a floral shape at the back, I've got these other little brad here. Brad here, so I'm going to just quickly open up. Hope they don't fall everywhere. I'm looking for a colour. This is like flower type brads. Um, I think they were from Paper Mania. And oh, I always think that the smaller ones are very hard to get in through the circles but anyway through the hole in the middle um, and if you do something like this you can get the shape of flower with the brad another type of brad in the middle so there's all different ones as I say ones with buttons on it I'm not a big button fan um, I've got a bit of a phobia when it comes to touching them but I have to say um, they do make the flower look nice, so maybe as time goes on, my phobia will disappear, but I doubt it. <laughs> anyway, they do look nice. Um, so basically that's it, all different types of flowers. Um, you can even make flowers out of ribbon. That's something I'm going to do in another video um, with either sewing the ribbon or use hot glue, the hot glue gun it bits. Um, I hope you have fun making your flowers really simple. Um, for the for the envelope card, this type here, there's again lots of people on YouTube doing it. I'm sure Elsa, just a few designs, did one for an album. Um, and I know that um, Christina Griffiths at card, cardmakingmagic.com, she's definitely got one on it. And it, I mean, you just change it to suit what you like yourself. Um, you know, um, do, do your own take. Um, the other thing I was going to say was yesterday, sorry, on my previous video it was yesterday. Um, I had I was talking about the everlasting yeah, um, their CD, their debut CD, Anima Rising, and I had I had the CD out in my car, so I'm just going to give it another plug. Um, here's the CD, and of course, of course, they're a brilliant band. Um, if you get a chance. Get out and see them if they're gigging. Check out my YouTube videos um, from Stereo in Glasgow. Uh, even better, buy the CD. Fantastic. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Have a good day. Bye.